We're here in Jerome, Arizona, and we are staying at the Jerome Grand Hotel, one of the most known haunted hotels here in Arizona. And we're staying in room 32. It's known that you can hear the gurney moving down this hallway. Why? Because Jerome Grand Hotel used to be United Verde Hospital. It opened in 1927 as a hospital to take care of all the people who were working in the mines. Jerome Grand Hotel, located in Jerome, Arizona, was built in 1926 as United Verde Hospital. Owned by the United Verde Company, it opened in January 1927 and was listed as a modern facility with the latest medical equipment. The hospital boasted the Otis Elevator. It was the first self-service elevator in Arizona. This elevator remains in its period form and it was a treat to operate it during our stay at the hotel. Its hospital days ended when the mining operations shut down. It closed in 1950 when people began getting medical care in the town of Cottonwood, leaving the building abandoned for many years. The Alter family purchased the property and they renamed it the Jerome Grand Hotel. Since then, the hotel has had many visitors, and the stories of ghosts and hauntings emerged. The hotel gained a notoriety as one of the most haunted hotels in Arizona and the country. Chill means. Oh, is this chill? It's chill. We did an EVP session in our room, Pressing record again. but we didn't capture any voices, although the Ovilus had some responses for us. We also explored outside the building by the Jerome Lumber Company. We're in ghost adventures. Hello, anyone? The owner claims there Where are ghosts residing in the building. Are you a past guest or possibly a minor? that silver antenna on that black box right there or speak into that silver box stopping Hello, anyone here in this room? We explored the hallways, and you can feel that there are others there with you, observing and walking alongside of you. One known haunting is from Claude Harvey a hospital maintenance staff member who died on April 3, 1935, when he was pinned beneath the Otis elevator. Many deaths occurred in the building due to sickness and injury. Guests report hearing voices, coughing, breathing, laughing, along with a baby crying. Staff and visitors claim to see strange shadows cat walking and even getting a whiff of odd smells permeating a room. We used the SLS camera and we found many anomalies. Is that them? 
Yep, on we're top of the piano. Is that the, is that the, the floors the were decorated with hospital oh, memorabilia. Oh, 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 and this well, encounter by the organ was amazing. Hi. Can you can see you can, can you, you can you raise your hand? We oh. see you. Oh, oh disappeared. Weird. And that would have been right in front of that piano and in front of that hutch right there. And and they're gone. And they're gone. We like to hang out. It must be maybe maybe they used to play music here for you think they used to play music for the patients? It might have been it might have been. It might have been, yeah. So attached to it because they remember happy music or any form of entertainment. Oh, oh back. look! Oh, they, is it, are you back? back? By the shelf. Oh, pfft, we went away again. I but moved. Maybe I startled them. But they like to hang out by that bookshelf. There you oh. go. Look, there it is, right there. See can that? you raise your hand? We can see you. Oh, it's gone again. It's, this is the lobby and the elevator, the Otis elevator. These are record books of people who have had experiences here. Room 35, heard two screams, a loud thump, and like a cat purr. Door to the padlock door. i find this code number. We're not going to be 39A. This is the white one still for the closet door. Quite a few times coming into the closet and mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that freaked me out. <laughs> we are here at the uh, wood wood shop. Down the just down the road from the hospital, the old hospital. This is it. We're down the road from the Jerome Grand. Yeah, and you can show them. It's right behind. The them. Jerome Grand. So let me pan over there so you can see it. it is right up there. You can see it or not. It's kind of blurry. Let me take it off my video for a second. It's up there. And we are down here at the old hospital building, which is now so woodworking shop. So that's on. If anyone wants to talk to us, we're here. It's windy. Kind of creepy. Yeah, it is. Can you see where we're going? Let me turn on the light. Let me. Huh? Okay. Closer down by the down by the wood shop. You got something? Mm -hmm. Got a point one. I saw that jump up there for a second. power in this building but when it pops up and down like that and it's not for me walking nope okay. nope it's not it's my bag making noise and me walking did you see that I saw that if you're here you can touch an antenna it can make Point noise two, like this back down to zero in there This, this thing just keeps changing randomly. What is this? 
private housing. Lights in the right by the building. We could go like maybe around the back side of the wa of the, the wood shop. like Virginia City, but it's actually, the guy was right, it's pretty quiet out here at this time of the night. Look at that. Point two, point one, and we're just standing here. All I hear is crickets and a few people in the distance and cars. There's electricity above us. Is that what causing this spike? Electricity above us? Why? Probably. There's some power lines up there. It's a telephone. There's a power pole up there with some lines coming off of it. So. Should we do some? Yeah. Why don't we go? anyone out here down by the wood shop hospital old hospital building it's mapping the trees anybody's hiding in the trees Look, I finally found some ghosts. Ooh. Uh oh, uh, at the Jerome Hotel, we found some ghosts. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, those are just lights. Oh, you tricky Jerome people, you. We used the SLS camera and we found many anomalies in the stairways where many reportedly have seen people walking up and down the stairs. People coming down the stairs. The next SLS figure we got was just trying to hang out and communicate with us, as you can see here. here. Your left side, and there's one person, yes, and then there's one on your right. Oh, it went away, there's only one person now. Touching your hand. You went away. Let me do it this way. It's standing next to you. It's in your right hand, right there. Yes, a left arm. Oh, it went away because it's mapping you, and there's something right there in front of you. It keeps going in and out. It's right there next to you. It's trying to touch your left arm. Can you hear? Yes, right there. Touch my hand. Yep, it's touching your hand. Yikes. Yikes, it's mapped you and there's something on your hand. Does it feel cold, tingly?
touching your hand. And that it's still there. It's so weird. And yeah, it's going in and out. Oh, there's and there's one on the chair. One on your hand and one in the chair. Is it changing in there? The, but there's one standing on the chair. Why are you touching his hand? This is insane. Yeah. One in your hand keeps going in and out and there's one standing in your chair. I mean on the chair in your left side. One is in your by your hand and one standing on the chair. They're never gonna go away, they're just gonna stay there. It's gone. The only one left is, oh, they don't want to leave you alone. The only one left is one here standing right here. Can you see my hand? Can you touch this? The one standing in the chair is trying to use their legs to touch you. You want to listen Please. to it? Okay, stop it. They're both gone. Recording. So we found this figure in the ice vending machine room, and it looks like it's in front of the ice maker. They're trying to get ice. What's going on? I'm not sure. Is it a false positive? Or can you raise your left hand or right hand? Oh, it disappeared. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Yeah. What else? There's somebody right in front of us. Which would be right in front of that elevator. Oh. Right, next, right next to the elevator. Why is that? That hole right there. We can see you. Can you raise your hand? Can you lift your arm? You. Oof. Switchboard tonight. The final SLS proof we have is by the medical instruments and the telephone switchboard. It looks like the spirit used to work with that switchboard, inserting the cord to connect a collar. It even looks like the spirit is intelligent as it began to reach out. I'm seeing this. Sometimes 
of this. There's something, somebody standing right there, yes. right next to that uh, switchboard. Maybe it's a false problem, I don't know. Well, still picking that up over there. Is we it moved. trying to get the tools? Maybe. We moved, Looks so... Looks like it's trying to, trying to get the tools. So why is it picking that up? I see, are you cleaning the tools? Maybe it's trying to get the, to the tools. The ones in that cabinet right there. It hasn't mapped you yet. I see you, but it's not mapping you yet. Okay, now it has you. Oh, there's something over here. There was something at the switchboard. No, it was in front of the switchboard. And then it disappeared. It just went back up. Something with, like something just went right through you. There's okay. It's back at the switchboard, and there's something else. There's a. Yes. Oh, it like reached up. It looked like it was trying to touch your hand. It, oh my gosh! It's like reaching up and touching your hand. There's two of there's two of them. There's two of them, and they're both touching you. They're both touching you. Oh, it, there was one. There's one down low. That's the switchboard. And then there was one that was standing up on top I, of it. I understand what you're saying. Oh my gosh, it's touching, it's reaching, it's touching your hand. I can feel wind. It's reaching up. Can you feel it? Yes, it feels I like a blow. Like somebody's blowing. Yes. Oh my gosh. You can feel like they were blowing wind in your hand. I'm not going to stop recording. Just keep going. I don't give a fuck. It's touching your hand. It's stood, it's standing, it's like leaning, it's leaning over, you're like pointing your head, your hand right into it. It's like, it's like leaning, it's like climbing on top of that. It's like kneeling up on top of the platform. Oh. Okay, we're done. There was strangely a lot of guests staying there on a Thursday night. So there was a lot of contamination. But there were definitely sounds at around 2 and 3 a.m. that were unexplainable. The drip sound during the night was very interesting. As you can see here, when we checked in, the tub was clean and dry for new guests. No one used the tub that night as we went straight to sleep. After a long investigation and a lot of walking, we were tired. Upon review of our other footage, we also saw that our daytime walk to the Jerome Lumber Company, we captured some type of movement, as you can see here.
We're not sure if it's from a person on the premises that's causing it to look like a shadow, and it could be blocking out light to create movement. Either way, it grabbed our attention, and we wanted to share this. So we just finished packing up all our stuff and um, what a tiring evening. I didn't sleep very well or so many noises and I'm not sure if it's the guests, the, ho the hotel or the spirits. Yeah, it was very busy last night, very busy town, very active people. So we'll see how active the spirits were when we go back and review some more of our footage and other evidence. So. Um, Packing up and gonna go home and get some rest. Yeah. <laughs> Jerome as a copper mining town was active and had its share of accidents and deaths. As a medical facility, the Jerome Grand Hotel has experienced agony, grief, and death, and these emotions have been imprinted in the walls and floors of the building. Our stay at the Jerome Grand Hotel was very interesting. A visit to the hotel will fascinate any guest, and any ghost hunter will find it very intriguing. <laughs> 